Good Sunday afternoon, guys. It is highly possible you've forgotten who I am. I can see you now, scratching your heads, wiggling your little antenna, and curling your toes. Who is that guy? It can't be Michael Jackson, could it? I know that's what you're thinking. Okay, I just made that part up. Nobody's thinking that. What you're really thinking is... Oh, no, not again. Okay, so before we get into stories about people trying to kill Rob Pattinson and everybody else in the world, I have the most epic story ever. Everybody knows Russians are just naturally bad. <laughs> for three important reasons. One, they wear fur. And who else wears fur? Bears wear fur. And Hercules wears fur. And your mom wears fur. But that doesn't count. Two, isn't Durmstrang located somewhere around Russia? Three, the big reason is that Russian ships, Russian cruise lines are now offering Pirate hunting cruises! I'm not even joking. People are paying thousands of pounds to get on a cruise ship and then sail out and just wait in the bay and actually wait for pirates to attack their ship. Why would anyone do that? So that the tourists can fight back with machine guns and grenades and rockets and bottles of flaming vodka like every Russian owns. So while watching this video at the library, your Russian friend Karkarov is shooting holes in the Jolly Roger. Doesn't that make you feel bad? It makes me feel bad. But isn't this illegal? Well, pirates are technically an endangered species, but according to the Prime Directive, if they attack first, it's go time. I, I feel like such a geek for knowing the Prime Directive. Put something in the comment box if you have any clue what I'm talking about, but I'm not making this up. They're really pirate hunting cruises going on right now, which is why I'm moving to Russia. <sighs> Okay, Twilight News. Let me put it this way. Everyone is dying! No, not the New Moon cast. Don't worry. That would be a rumor. I would be making that up. Yet. But there is this systematic string of people around the country in Hollywood that are dying. We've got Billy Mays, Michael Jordan, Jackson, Leaky Fawcett, Farrah Fawcett. Who wrote this? Spoiler alert! Dobby the House Elf dies. Fred Weasley dies. Dumbledore dies. All evidence points to an obvious source. Voldemort is taking over America! Rob Pattinson barely avoided death the other day when the building he was filming his new movie Remember Me Inside began to crumble around him. Reports are coming in saying that it was going to crumble, but Taylor Lautner ripped off his shirt and showed his non-steroid biceps, scaring the plaster back into place. Wait a minute, Jaden. He scared drywall back into place? Hey, I don't make the news, I just take the news from very reliable sources and pretend like it's mine. Oh, so it's good that Rob dodged that bullet, but seriously, I'm starting to get worried. Why are all these stars dying in the same week? It's supposed to be no more than three, now we're at a four. What do you guys think would happen if Rob actually died? Do you think they would actually stop making the Twilight movies? Or would they just pull a Harry Potter and change out the actors? And we'd have like a different guy playing Edward. Would, would that even work? Would you watch Eclipse or uh, Breaking Dawn if they had a different person playing as Edward? Like if they didn't have Rob Pattinson? Leave it cheery vote in the comment box. Today's thing that I don't like is the phrase Twilight Hunk. Why am I my British version again? I know this isn't British, so stop telling me it's not British. It's more Cockney Australian with a bit of dodo bird inside of it. I don't like the phrase Twilight Hunk because I know I know it's a word that usually only girls use, but lately a lot of reporters have been using it to describe Rob Pattinson. When I think of the word hunk, I think of a lot of muscle. If you really have to apply the word hunk to someone on the Twilight New Moon set, I would think it'd be the massive Mr. Lautner, who's actually been working out considerably and has gotten quite some gain. But the news have not yet realized that Taylor is really the star of New Moon, not Rob Pattinson, so they still think that dropping Rob's name is going to get people to listen. Oh, I probably picked a bad title, didn't I? And today's thing that confuses the bejesus out of me is a certain thief in Germany who stole a lawnmower and then tried to sell it back to the guy he stole it from. That is almost as weird as the guy who drowned last week while cutting his lawn. No, not in a swimming pool. He drowned while cutting his lawn. This German lawnmower thief really fails at Grand Theft Lawnmower. And that is so low you can't even call it Grand Theft Lawnmower. It's more like little bitty theft lawnmower, which sounds like a horrible toy for preschoolers. Today's thing that I do like is the fact that I'm going to be at the Vampire Baseball event in Portland in like less than a week. I don't even know. I better figure that out so I can get on the plane. Also, I might go to see Transformers 2 tonight. I've heard that it was horrible, that it sucked baseballs, and that Michael Bay is hiding hidden satanic messages inside the light of every burning car. Thanks for subscribing, guys, and all the people who've been checking out NewMoonNation.com. I'm sorry I haven't updated it in a little bit. It's because I've been writing eight hours a day, as most of you guys have heard me complain by now. Thanks for subscribing. <laughs>